Hey guys! So today I looked at my phone and I guess in summer I don't really pay attention to what day it is because I don't have to. They all just blend together. And I realized that, oh my god, it is July 31st. Summer is almost over. So what I thought I would do today is break out the bag I always use for school and show you what I put in my back to school bag. The bag that is like my go-to bag for school is actually something that people have told me is luggage. And when I looked it up today, it actually is considered luggage. But it's so big, it holds everything I need, and it's perfect. I think it's cute, and I'm going to show it to you. I got this bag off ebags.com, but I got it last August, and I don't know if they actually have it on there anymore, but I'm sure if you Google it, you'll find it, and I know I think they have something like it if they don't make this one anymore. There's something very similar. It just has, like, a long strap, and it's a little bit different, but it's very, very similar. So if you do like this bag, search for R&M and see if there's anything you like online. Um, I'm in graduate school. I just actually graduated with my undergraduate bachelor's degree in May in psych. So this semester I'm going to be starting working on my master's degree in social work. So for me, there are some things that are absolutely necessary that I'm sure you're allowed to carry even if you're in high school that would be beneficial to you to throw in your school bag. iPad. This is my best friend. Um, a lot of times professors will put PowerPoints online and if you have somebody with like a big head sitting in front of you, it really benefits me to be able to just pull them up here and look at them and follow along or take my own notes if they go too fast because that happens all the time. Not that I write slow. No, I don't write slow. With the iPad, I love to use this Bluetooth keyboard. Um, if you hook this up with your iPad, you can take notes on it. There's a ton of good apps out there to use with this, and it really helps. I finally bought one of these for myself because I had to keep asking my friend to send me the notes because he had one, and he would type everything so quickly, and it was so easy for him. He did not have to carry around his laptop, and at the end of the class, I would be like, I would just sigh and, you know, can you send them to me because, once again, I did not get everything I needed to know and I don't even know why I bother. But definitely a must-have for school. Together, they're like two peas in a pod and they are probably the best school accessory that I own. These are my favorite folders and there are a lot of different folders out there. Normally, they're like the paper kind with the holes in the side and in my experience, they always rip really easily. And I really like these folders. They are five star by Mead. I like them because they have these flaps in the top and you can kind of put them on top of your papers. So if you drop your folder or you end up grabbing it upside down, nothing falls out. And the other thing I really like about it is I am a big note card, index card, flash card person. And I have a little pocket down here where you can put any of your index cards so you don't lose them. And I haven't had anything fall out of there either. So I would definitely recommend these. The other thing about these is you can use them year after year, semester after semester. I pretty much held on to the same ones because they are pretty hard to damage. They stay in pretty good shape. And I usually print out like labels and just put them over top for whatever class I'm taking. And uh, I really like these and they fit really good in my big tote bag. Three pink highlighters. Is that necessary? I like the cheap ones because I lose them all the time. So when I actually do try to take notes, I have a lot of notebooks. Um, this year, all my classes, I'm going to have them twice a week on two days a week. So I'm going to have five classes in one day. It's pretty much an all-day affair. It's like high school all over again. Concealer. I pretty much have this with me and I touch it up every day. I always am not happy with what I see when I look in the mirror, um, so I always like to have this on me. Oil absorbing sheets. These things are great. These happen to be by Clean and Clear, but plenty of other people make them. I used to use these a lot in high school, after gym, things like that, just because I always felt so gross and these are really good at pulling whatever you need to get off your face, whether it's sweat or oil or whatever, and like it says, it won't smudge makeup, and in my experience, they haven't. They are very good, so I would highly recommend these, whether you're in high school, college, whatever. If you're running around and you're oily, you could use these. These are the All May Oil Free Makeup Remover Pads. I talked about these in my sensitive skin video. I always like to have these with me, and here's a really good example of where I needed them, unfortunately. I was walking to class one day and I missed the shuttle, I got rained on, and my mascara ended up smearing like all underneath my eyes. It was very unattractive and I ended up saying, you know what, forget it, and I just took all my makeup off and I was really happy I had these because otherwise I probably would have walked around like I had a black eye or like I was a raccoon. That's not a good look. I think this is definitely an everybody thing. Um, I happen to commute to school. I have commuted for the last two years and I'll commute for the next two. 
I live in Jersey and we're always under construction, so everywhere I go, sometimes there's detours and I need to get to school faster. So I'll just pull out my GPS out of my bag and try and figure out another way to get to school. Um, so I don't really leave the house without this either. Hairspray, extra fizz control, extra necessary. Stay fresh. I like to carry this All May eyeliner. It's waterproof and just in case I need a touch up, I always have this in my purse. Um, I also have my NARS lip gloss. This is number F47 Scandal. I don't even know if they make this anymore. This is kind of old, but it's a very pretty color. It's very dark, um, but yet sheer at the same time. So I like to put that on my purse because sometimes I like to throw on a darker color instead of just something light and simple. Um, I always have this Blistex, I think it's deep conditioning, I think that's what that stands for, daily conditioning treatment. Um, very cheap, very basic, it's been around forever, but really nothing works on my lips the way this does when it comes to moisturizing, so I like to have this with me. Just necessities. Gum. Mints. I'm not a germaphobe, but I always love to have my hand sanitized with me, especially in places where there's lots of germs, because there are times when I get sick easily. Um, this one is from Bath and Body Works, it is in Pink Sugar Plum. Probably my favorite hand sanitizer, and it's my favorite scent from Bath & Body Works for sure. Um, I asked for like tons of it, like the whole set for Christmas, and my mom got me like five or six of these, and I just have them everywhere because I love the smell so much. It actually makes my whole purse smell like this, which is good or bad, depending on how you feel about it, but I like it. I also have this little wristlet in here. Um, it's kind of random things in here. I have my baby lips. I have the... Urban Decay Lip Junkie Cools and Pumps. This is the one that comes with the Naked 2 palette. I wear that almost every day because it's just neutral and it works really well for me. So I do like to have this because I think it complements those colors really well. Um, also in here I have a ton of these. They are from the Tarte Color Me Gold set. I have a bunch of different colors. Um, I like a lot of lighter colors, but I'm noticing that for some reason lately I have been into darker colors. So I have all of these ones in my purse, even though they're very similar. I like these a lot, and this one's probably my favorite. They don't actually have names of the colors on them for whatever reason, so I can't tell you, but it's just a very deep pink, and it's not too far off from the NARS color that I showed you earlier. I always have my shades with me. My Froyo punch card! There's a yoga factory right by where I used to go to school, and there were many a times where I would just go with my friends after class, or I would feel the need to go by myself if I've had a hard day and I just need some frozen yogurt. Love me some red velvet froyo. I think these are a school necessity, right? Is it sad that I have a whole bag of toll money? Up in the tolls by 50%? Not cool. That's a Garden State Parkway for you. Victoria's Secret Body Spray. This is an Amber Romance. I like it because it's small, I could just throw it in there, and you never know when you need a little something. Alright guys, that's all I have in my back to school bag, so comment down below if there's anything you think that I forgot, or anything really cool that you keep in your school bag. And don't forget to subscribe because there's more on the way. Bye guys! Did we forget anything? You're a doggy preschool dropout. You don't even have a school bag.